All right, um, running late. Okay. Captain's got the um, Jag out already um, to go. He's just grabbing a number plate so we can put plates on this thing down at the car show. So she's all clean and ready to go. So we will, yeah, just get down to the car show and yeah, get it happening. I might actually get the um, SS out now and have it ready to go so I can just jump in and go when I get back. That's not a bad idea actually. All right guys, I'm gonna jump off now. Yeah, um, had a bit of trouble with the audio with this um, camera, with this ex external mic, so I'm gonna try it without the external mic to see if we can pick up more of the sounds of the car. Just the cars are so loud that it just distorts the um, audio. So um, bear with me, I'll see what I can do with the audio and hopefully you'll be able to hear a bit more of the rumble. Anyway, all right guys, um, yeah, see so how we go. Plan was to um, have someone else here so we're going to drive down but he's going to follow me down in the truck now and um I know he's going to follow me down in the the keys are in the truck man alright let's see what she's going to do eh? We've got our first one in there. We're just gonna find Letho and we'll head back and grab this SS. He should be here somewhere. There he is, right there. Right, yeah. Sorry, I didn't film that. It was sort of a bit hectic at the gate, but apparently we um we're getting let in for free, which is good, isn't it? Feels nice to be special. Right, eight, round two. Take the SS down. Um, yeah, be interested to see what class they put us in and see if we can't snag a trophy, but. It's not really about that, it's just about finally having these cars on the road. How good is that? But yeah, so the Jag actually went quite well on the drive. Didn't have any issues. Um, Letho was behind me, he said that at one stage when I booted it, she put out a fair bit of chaff out the back. So we still have a lot of tuning to do on that thing, probably to get it perfect, but... We'll see how we go, eh? All right, guys. Let's, um, let's get down there and see what we can do. Alright, we're just following this Volkswagen bug into the thing if you can find his gears. Alright, and in we go. Anchoring this? Yeah, buddy, it's going next yeah. to my Jag. Right. Yep, thanks, buddy. It's only a court, small car show, but you know, gives us a reason to get in here, doesn't it? We'll get the cars done. Thank you very much, buddy. Righto, oh, no. that was a mission. We have our cards, and I'm off to the car to stick them on the window, and yeah. Sort these out a bit, and half a tidy up, and we'll see how we go. So we ended up in um, best original car for the SS and best modified for the Jag. So here they are sitting here. Let's get stuck in, and we will give them a tidy up and put any crap in the boot and go from there. All right, guys. 
All right, guys, let's have a bit of a look what we've got here, eh? Extremely tidy. Trim's done. Very nice. One after my own heart. Twins on it. I've seen this thing before, actually. Combos. This thing comes to a lot of shows out this way and wins a lot of trophies. It's um, a bit of a show favourite. She's fairly clean though, but yeah. Here you go, he's one for the Cortina boys. I actually see this thing driving around a fair bit. He actually uses it quite a lot. The motor's getting, getting pretty close to being where I want it. I've done a few upgrades to it in the last six months. Better heads, better can, better intake, better headers. Yeah. I do have a soft spot for the old XWs. They, um, yeah, I always wanted to reef green one. I went to a show at Hanging Rock when I was real young with my parents, and um, yeah, there was a reef green GT there, and I just fell in love and wanted to have one. But I've never managed to have an XW, believe it or not. I've had a few XYs, but yeah, Simmons, very good. I've got a guy I really would like to see in Here we go. I know you guys like your Commodores, so we've got VH high rise manifold. Strange to not see an LS these days, isn't it? It's very tidy. I like the way the seats have been trimmed, they've been trimmed the same as the car. Smell some brakes, you must have had some fun on the way here. How nice is that? It's awesome. Tunnel. Harley Jute. He owns a, a mechanical workshop, Aces Mechanical in Kingaroy. Um, yeah, he's been building this thing for a while. It's sort of, it's a little bit rougher in the edges, but it is just a tidy thing. I, if you look on my Facebook page you'll see I towed this thing years ago but for um, what it was to what it's come up to now he's really done a phenomenal job. You know? uh, it's not everyone's colour scheme but it, it works like he's um, he's went one of the local bike clubs out here so he's right into his Harleys as you can see but yeah it's not a bad sort of thing. Here we go if only had so many of these over the years, but sold every one of them, and now none left. She's very nice. This thing comes with a lot of local car shows too. It's a very tidy sort of thing, been done for years, but it's held up over the years. doors hold in value these days in with brown interior I like how the console is just sort of nice and tidy he's got his big armrest there's one for you British guys out there an old Cortina very good I do have um, a few of these Dodge Utes, mine's the earlier ones though with the, the longer grills, but yeah, it's a project we'll get into down the track. Gone on the days, used to get one for 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah. See, mine didn't have the... I'm just undecided when I build mine on what to do with the tray, like it sort of works with the, with the wheel covers the way they are, but I'm still not too sure. And obviously you know these ones. Yep. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. I would actually love to buy one of these, but they're so expensive, as you guys know. Got the original stereo in it, bench seat, good hood liner, retractables in the back. 
The wheels are sort of different. They're quite like that. They're just uh, sort of a bit of a throwback to your, your five slotter, but yeah, how nice is that? <coughs> Here you go, BS boys. I won't overlook it for you. You got a kit. Looks like it was a HSV one. That's an SS, it's got an SS on the dash. Lots of blue. Yeah. Not a bad sort of jigger. The stock eh? it looks like a bit of a survivor car. I do like my survivor cars, as you know from my HR. It's not rusted out, she had a few repairs, but she still is quite a sweet sort of ride. One, two, five, three. There you go. Another survivor from the looks of it. Manual. Wonder if she's just a six cylinder. Premier. It's not rusty. I know. Two, five, three. Haven't these things gone crazy money now? Got a Chevy GDS. Wonder if it's the original 350 Chev. Price. This thing's worth some money. It's very simply done and just tidy. How nice is that? Good hood liner. Yeah, not too sure about this one, but anyway, everyone to their own. <coughs> oh my god, oh, here's a fair lane. Oh, and HR. Yeah, you want to vote for your cars? Thanks, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come back and see you. Yes, yeah, so we'll yep. You guys haven't seen my fair lane yet, but I've got a yellow one and I've got a 460 on the stand for it. I'm not too sure about those wheels. She must be an old school one, this with the Triple M sticker still on it. Vinyl roof. Hmm. It's two weeks on that side, so I'd say. This is like um, one off Mad Max. Isn't it? Is that the same sort of model? I do like it though. Looks like it must be in it. Judging from those wheels, I'd say, yeah, she's an import. It's quite nice, but, ah, here we go. Beautiful. I've always wanted a WRX, a net, not the bug eye one though, this is the least favorite of mine, but a yellow earlier one like, like the ones I have. All right, guys, we might, um, we'll take this down now through the um, swap meet. We'll have a quick look, and I'll probably finish it now. We've got the live in about an hour, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. We'll see what I can compulsively spend some money on, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. A lot of holding stuff. <laughs> well, it did it. It went real bad. Motorbike gear. Yeah. Yeah. My mate just gave me some people's choice tickets, so I suppose I should vote on my own car. Nothing too exciting so far. Yeah, it's hard to know what the sort of video as we're coming through car shows and stuff like that, but I hope you've seen. See, you can see it's not a massive car show, but it gives us enough to, something to do out here. There's not a lot to do out west. We're sort of three hours west of Brisbane where we are. So, yeah, the opportunity to do stuff doesn't come up very often. Shift it there, might come back and have a look at it. Yeah. Hey buddy, how are you? It's hard, everyone wants to keep talking to me, but I'll have to turn this off and come back. There doesn't seem to be a lot of interest here, so I might turn this off here and yeah. Come back to it a little bit later. There's actually a bloke down here I want to talk to, so I'll switch this off now and um, yeah, get back to you soon. Oh, one of those. Oh, the pasty mouth, mate. Yeah, man, in a sec, yeah. All right. Hey, guys, um, subscriber Byron come across from um, the sunny coast to say hello and he bought his VN, and we all love VNs, don't we? Rightio, so we'll have a chat to him about it. Okay, it's a limited edition one built by, it was a HSV and no, just APV. APV. And it's, um, yeah, former directors out of HDT. Yep. 
after Peter Brockway. They lasted for about a year, so yeah. Yeah? But yeah, she's um so she's the rare one. She's, right. she's a five litre. She got a few, you know, a lot of VNs didn't get treated well in back in the day, but it's just a case of a tidy up over the years and she'll be nice. But at least it is it has been saved and you know. I'd love that steering wheel myself. That'd be awesome. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's a Nice one to see, man, for sure. And yeah, appreciate you coming out and I saying hello. Not too much, but um, yeah, just wanted to show you. Yeah. yeah, man. I love me VNs, man. Always happy to see another one. But all right, um, it's about time to go live, so I hope some of you guys are waiting. So I'll um, turn this one off and we'll change over. All right, guys, that is the end of the day. Um, we didn't win any trophies, but we got to come down here, which is good. So we're going to. Um, get these organized now and get the trade plates on them and try and um get them home without breaking down i suppose i'll um we'll take the jag first i suppose we'll get it sorted now We've got back from the car show. Um, didn't win any trophies, but that's all good. We weren't really worried about that. But we do have Byron, the subscriber, that come across from the Sunshine Coast, which was awesome to see. So we're just going to give him a yard tour of some of the cars and the projects coming up, stuff that you guys haven't seen. So you guys might as well come along for a, for a walk with us. All right, we might start out the front here, Byron. I'll show you these um, Valiants I mentioned earlier. So out the front here, man, we have got my um, Valiants. So this one here is VG Mexicana hardtop, okay, and I've put an LS1 in it, okay. It's a, it's, it's not a bad car. It's not rusty. Everything's here for it. Jump through, man, and have a look. Yeah, everything's here for it. Someone's put mini tubs in it. What makes it a Mexicana? You see the back section of the roof here. That there's extended, whereas the normal hardtops come straight down. Apparently, there's only 200 of these made. Yeah. Um, it was just a total fluke that I ended up with a Mexicana. It wasn't. All right, the other Valiant that I've got is this um, non rusty VH. Um, it's not a bad car. I've actually put the 245 out of the hardtop into this one. Okay, she's got most of the interior there. It's not rusty in the floor. And I've got some videos on these. I will put them up as time goes by. And yeah, so she's all cleaned and painted i've cleaned all the engine bay i've just got to give it a paint i'm thinking about either doing it silver or blue with the rt stripes and all that sort of stuff which would be pretty cool i don't have any front seats so we we'll put some recaros or something like that in it but um all right what do you reckon dude keep moving around and show you the rest of my mess that i've created all right um all right there was a guy that messaged me the other day he said he wanted me to do some fords so we might go out the front i um I got some TX3 turbos the other day, so I'll show you them, man. They're not a bad sort of vehicle. Hope you guys don't like, don't mind coming for a bit of a bit of a walk around and a bit of a look see. Um, in here, we're closed today because it's Sunday, obviously. There is my long wheelbase Bedford van. Okay, the motor you probably saw it in the videos is over there on the other side of the Jag. Um, old Tony's just done the gutters and stuff on it, so there's new gutters put on this. Um, the front end's out there. I've got to paint it. But anyway, there's videos coming up on that one And that is one that I will be selling in the very near future um, when I bought that I um, When I bought that I wanted a short wheelbase, but I couldn't find a short wheelbase So we end up with a long wheelbase. All right, so we'll start out the front in the front yard You all right, dude? She's a bit of a um, which way you want to go? No, he's got a um, He's on a tangent What do you want to look at buddy? The VN? Paradise, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's that other bonnet I got. Yeah. 
this thing um, it runs and drives and underneath the driver's seat there's actually a little tap to turn the brakes off the rear brakes yeah, right. yeah so she's not too bad of a car but it's just a, just another vn we've got this l200 dude up there another guy messaged me about um there was a message the other day about doing some sigma content i don't actually have any sigmas and they are very hard to get i've got two of these l200 utes um so we're going to do something with with them yeah another couple of jags that are just sort of hanging around um all right yeah they're lethos another hr shell um it's not too bad needs a little bit of attention but yeah oh there's a, a guy I mentioned earlier about me doing a rotary build i've got this 808 here um it does look extremely bad there's bullet holes in it but luckily they've shot all the bolt-on panels and not the actual shell so she's not a bad thing um there's two of these triumphs here they're leaths if anyone's into triumphs he has two of these um the other one's got a better interior this body's not too bad and there's a v8 there to go with them if you want to and the v8 bolts up directly to the gearbox subaru brumby ute i've got a video there of it and i'll put that up for you soon and i've got some big wheels this hd is just another project really it's got a really good interior in it and a big rust hole down the back there hr it's a good shell and i've got all the bolt-on panels to turn it into something nice and the Mazda 1000 Ute. Byron just um, spotted that and got all excited, I think. You like them, do you, buddy? Um, yeah, it's a just a, a 1000 Ute. It is a little bit rusty. It is complete. The interior and it is still in quite good condition. Um, I put it up for sale a while back. Didn't get much interest. So it's just sort of out the back here waiting for some love, really. So, yeah. What do you reckon so far, mate? Is it messier than what you envisioned? It's a gold mine, mate. <laughs> I, I, would, I wouldn't go that far as a gold mine, but she is what she is. We'll go for a walk down to the front yard and I'll show you these TX3s. This is where, um, where old Carl processes cars. So we come in and we put the cars up on those stands. Okay, and then he drops all the oil and stuff out and yeah, does. We don't do scrap, but at the same time these days you have to recycle. So you've got to do radiator, drop oils and fluids, radiators, cats, alloy wheels, wiring looms and separate all the usable stuff. You know, my, you know, because I am vegan after all. I'm not really. I'm not really. But you got to do your little bit, don't you? But yeah. So, where else do we go from here? All right, we'll just we'll just work our way down the line, eh, dude? Okay, Fairlane. What a beast. Okay. Um, I was doing a tow job, and this was on the truck. It's not rusty, which is great. It's not too bad inside, and I have a 460 big block for it. Um, she looks like in a bit of disrepair. I've already spoken to Trev about painting this one, but I really want to fit the 460 up first. I've got a sump for it already. I've got, yes, yeah, so I've got a sump. I've got pipes. Um, I've got the 460 and the auto. And yeah, so we just got to fit it in and, and see what it does. Uh, the old 300 ZX, which we will get back to soon. That one doesn't belong to me. Got this mad statesman. So this is that statesman I was telling you about, dude. See the wheels? It just works. It's the silver over the red. It's just a nice car. It's just a shame about the paint. It's got grey leather. It's just a beautiful car. Um, and this is the Courier Ute. A guy messaged this morning about doing some sort of Ute. But yeah, so this is it's sort of it's looking a bit sad now. But um, yeah, green Ute. I've start, I've got a flocking kit to do the dash, which I might show you guys how to flock a dash, which is in rally cars. You have that, um, the, it's sort of a felt looking suede sort of thing, but I've got a kit there to do that. Got these seats in, just got to make some rails and all the rest of it. But um, we put a turbo on it. So she's never going to be a massive powerhouse, but um, yeah, we've done a quick turbo conversion on her. Um, I bought two BT50 turbos for, I think it was 50 bucks or something. So yeah, we ran them. That pod fills are supposed to be on there. But it's just a really basic thing, big dump pipe. And it's got that mad side pipe set out down the side there. So that mad set side pipe there that comes out. But we will get this one, um, get this one happening very soon because I quite like this Ute. It's just a really good cheap thing, you know. And my channel is about you being able to afford what I do. You know, you can't afford big polished manifolds and all that sort of stuff. Most of what I'm going to try and achieve is you guys can go down to your local wreckers and buy the same crap that I'm using. Because you've got to remember, second-hand parts are fine. You're driving around on second-hand parts now. As soon as you turn that key and drive out your driveway, you're on second-hand parts, dude. So why not save a dollar? But anyway, all right, let's keep rolling. But Letho's, um, 
caravan that we've been had no time to do. Um, see, we do sell cars. I've got patrol there that'll be for sale. This Pajero. Um, a few people have asked me about parts. There's that motorbike I was telling you about. Um, might build a cafe racer at some stage, which would be pretty cool. Um, anyone that wants some FBs, I do want to sell these two as a pair. There's a good shell, there's about nine doors, and then there's that one there which is rusty, but it's got a 186 power glide, HR disc brake front end. There's my short wheelbase Bedford, which will be getting a full build done and something really trick. Big wheels, it's going to be mad that thing. Um, what else have we got? There's one of me Dodgers up the top there, I don't know if you can see that. Um, got quite a few of them at home, not so much here. Another donor, Mazda Ute for the flared one that's over there. Just another Dodge shell, some Beetle stuff. There's a HQ Tunner. Um, here's the old crowd, crowd favorite, the old SS. There's the tanks and all that sort of stuff that we've been playing with with that. Still haven't got that running, but we will get back to that. And TX3s, okay. This is the model I want desperately wanted okay but it's rough okay okay yeah so all-wheel drive turbo and then this one here is very good in the paint and in the interior but not quite the model that I want but um just a case of put them all back look how good that is in there man like it's really nice hey? boogie, yeah so yeah I'm gonna do a full build on this one and then just a tidy up and yeah a bit of a driver on that one and that's a familiar it's not mine, that's actually Leith's, Leith's car, I gave that to him, and um, everything's there for it, but he's been, he's extremely keen to do a build on a Familiar, and he has wanted to for a long time, but it's also an all-wheel drive turbo, so, yeah, I've got down here, if anyone wants to buy a Jag, this, this, Byron, this one was my daily up until a couple of weeks ago, it's just a, um, a Series 3 XJ6, um, it's got big 20s on it, I do have the standard wheels for it, if anyone wants one, it's, you know, just a six-cylinder. It's a Series 3. The carbies have been taken off it. Um, the injection's been taken off and carbies put back on it. But it could be a cool sort of project daily for someone. If, if someone's keen for a Jag, um, it's got a sunroof. It's a Vanderplas, so it's fully optioned. But, yeah, and there's just another, you know, wreck. As you can see, Monday or Tuesday, we've got a heap of cars going out. They've got all that pile up there that's got to actually go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you reckon, buddy? She, um, is it what you expected or is, yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah? Kept hold of everything, eh? <laughs> A lot of stuff goes, man. There's not enough room to keep everything, but we, um, we do our best. But yeah. All right, well, there still is a bit of other stuff here, but I'll leave that for another day. This video had to be getting up on our hours now. But, um, yeah. Once again, guys, thank you very much for your support. The live went really well today. Um, the input, the, the comments, the questions and everything like that, it's, um, it's been good and yeah, I was gobsmacked and such an early in the days for old Byron to come across from the Sunshine Coast, I, I don't know him, he's just a subscriber. Um, we are open 8 to 5 every day, Letho's here selling parts and machine and stuff and yeah, working and the towing company so um, I'll put up in the description of this one the Facebook page for King of Tow. And the parts page, so just message, ring, yeah, whatever works. Address is there. Um, you know, I'm about towing a lot, so if you want to personally come and see me, make sure you message me and let me know. And, and you know, I'm happy to make time for guys and, and do things. Or, yeah, okay. Well, anyway, see you.